I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This is a uh, beautiful Yamaha C7, which, which of course has like a um, very prestigious, um, great reputation. Everybody in piano circles knows the Yamaha C7. I have seen them everywhere in, in every setting you could imagine, um, where intense piano people are. I've, I've seen them in non intense piano people's homes or, or institutions, but uh, but uh, it's a it's a well-known world-class piano that uh, that that I've seen obviously in lots of homes. I've seen lots and lots of recording studios. Virtually every it's kind of the standard. It's the, like the go-to piano for recording studios. Um, I think every every major recording studio that I've tuned for that is not a classical focus. So like BYU. Classical 89, their recording studio, they have a Steinway B. But uh, basically every other one that I've done that's a serious recording studio, um, they all have Yamaha C7. That includes like the LDS Motion Picture Studio, that includes um, two, two recording studios um, that I've done many, many, many times in, in Provo, um, a couple of them in Salt Lake. They're just, they're everywhere. I've seen them in churches, I've seen them in schools, um, in, uh, of course, uh, at, at uh, universities, they, they use them a lot for like uh, practice rooms and, and for um, some of their like larger orchestra rooms, um, they'll have a Yamaha C7. So uh, yeah, it's a very, very well known, very well respected, very well beloved model of instrument so so personally I always have my eye out for for a c7 whenever I can whenever I can find one um, I'm on it regardless of the condition um, I, I snatch it up because um, they're so popular they're so sought out they're so good they're so nice to work on I, I don't think that that I or um, if you personally if you happen to know a another piano technician Ask them by all means. Ask them what what their thoughts are on the about the Yamaha C7, and I would say 99% chance they'll be like, "Oh, that piano's amazing. I love working on them. They sound so good. They play so well. They last forever. There really isn't a downside to the to the C7." Well, there is one downside, and I think hopefully I've solved it with this, the C7s that I have. The, the the one downside is they're crazy expensive brand new they're like 70 or, or 75 even 80,000 somewhere somewhere in that in that neighborhood which by the way I remember early on in my career 20 or 25 years ago the my dream piano that one day I wanted to to own was a Yamaha C7 um, and I remember going to to piano stores as a 20 something young buck and uh, and I think at the time I think they were Fifty-five thousand, something like that, which you know obviously is crazy expensive. But uh, um, now they're now they're up, you know, another twenty thousand on top of that or so. So, I feel like I've I've solved that. It's um, a fraction. The 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 C seven that that I have here is a fraction of, of what that is. And we've, we've gone through it very thoroughly uh, with, with the intention to make it as close to brand new as possible. Of course, it's impossible to make it absolutely brand new. This is a 1976 after all, but, uh, but I've, I've refurbished so many pianos over the years, like thousands, um, that uh, I've picked up a few tricks along the way and, and uh, we know what we're doing here and we, and we do a good job. So as, as an example of what we've done on this piano, um, we've, we've re, we refinished, we took, took off all the strings. We, we actually took off the plate as well. That's this big cast iron gold paint painted thing. Took that out, refinished the soundboard, put on new decal. It's gorgeous and beautiful and perfect again. Of course, all new strings. Um, so those, I mean, that's, that's cool. That's really, that's, that's, a fairly uncommon um, thing that you get with with uh, um, pianos that, that are not brand new is to have brand new strings 
and that and that makes a huge difference in tone, and you'll hear why in, in just a couple of minutes. The tuning pins, I don't know if you can see the, if you can get all of these tuning pins, of course, are also new, which, I mean, that sort of goes along naturally with restringing the piano. And what we do when we put in new tuning pins is we ensure that the torque, we put a torque wrench on every single one as we, as we go, ensuring that the torque is between 100 and 120 pounds of, of torque on every single one, which is, which is a, um, a really, really good, tight um, uh, feeling. I mean, that's what you want as a, that's what you expect for a brand new piano is about that 100, 100, 100 120 pounds of torque. And it just ensures that it's going to last like indefinitely, um, many, many, many years, decades. Um, and we've reshaped the hammers, so so the hammers are not uh, the hum the hammers are not changed. They're not new, uh, new hammers. They are original, but they've been reshaped, with where we remove the uh, remove the cuts and 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 return the hammers to the original um, rounded shape. We've regulated everything, realigned everything, lubricated everything, tightened it all, taken care of any uh, regulation or, or other kinds of issues in the pedals. And then on the finish, um, the finish we've buffed it out. So I would say I would say the the finish now is in it's in very good condition. I'd say probably a B plus. Um, uh, so it's it, it looks good. It's nice and shiny. Have a look at it. Um, the imperfections that it has, the reason that I give it a B plus are, are fairly minor. Um, like this, this little, that's an example of, of the reason that I'm giving it a B plus. Um, those, there's one there, My, very minor things like that, but, oh, that's dusty from the shop. Why don't I, hopefully, uh, Got a dust rag over here. <laughs> anyway, you get the idea. Like I said, right out of the shop. <laughs> okay. So overall, finish is quite good. If anybody uh, um, were to look at the piano, uh, especially across the room, I mean, it looks like it's brand new. And if you were right up next to it, you, you see little little imperfections here and there, but they're minor. Okay, let's hear those brand new strings. Set, I guess, of the of the C three is that power. That, that massive bass. That's nice. A lot of times, and and if you're a musician, I'm sure you've noticed. Uh, that on on most pianos, when you get down in that in that zone, there it, it doesn't really sound musical anymore. It just kind of sounds like a I don't know, just kind of sounds blah. It doesn't it doesn't sound musical? But but on a on a C3, it, it definitely does. power and, and still has good good brightness to it. <laughs> 